What's the littlest book you've ever seen? What's up, interwebs? I'm Connor, and this is Sorta Son, the show about drinking alcohol and exploring it inside and out. Today, we're talking about Little Book Blended Whiskey. Now, Little Book is uh, a Beam Suntory product from the Jim Beam Distillery. Uh, it's a blended American whiskey, and it is blended by Freddie No, the grandson of Booker No, which most everybody kind of knows of Booker's Bourbon. Uh, this is a blended American whiskey, um, not, uh, rather a blend of American whiskey, not blended in the sense that it has neutral grain spirit in it, uh, but just a blend of American whiskey. It is no age statement. Uh, technically, it's four years old because it's a blend of four-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon, uh, eight-year-old high rye whiskey, and a seven-year-old bourbon. So, what's cool about this, or what's nice, is you get a fancy box with it. So you're looking at... Boom. It comes right in this fancy box. Uh, this is the 2020 Chapter 4. So, all of the versions are a little bit different. This one is specifically the fourth chapter that they released in 2020. It's got this really nice wooden box. Uh, it came with a wax seal. Somebody let me borrow this bottle to review it. And, uh, you know, it's open, it's it's half gone. Uh, but it has this, this nice wax seal, this ribbon, uh, a little tag that tells you uh, a lot of information about it. Uh, it gives you, you know, color, tasting notes, um, it has the, the type of whiskeys that are in it, the, the rye, the bourbons. Recipe number 15, 750 milliliter volume, chapter 4, released in 2020. Um, so, you know, this is, this is a whole experience here. It's clearly not just whiskey. It's about the whole experience. A lot of whiskey drinkers might argue that... Uh, what you're drinking isn't as important as where you're drinking, who you're drinking with, and the experience that you're having with those people. Uh, but other people will argue that the experience of the whiskey itself is just as important. Now, before we even drink it, we're already kind of feeling that this is pretty fancy because it looks kind of fancy. You know, you pull this out in front of company and go, what was that? What do you got there? You got some Mr. Moneybags, huh? Uh, and it is uh, a pretty, a relatively pricey bourbon. Uh, it, it's set online that MSRP is roughly $125. Um, so that is up there. So, uh, nothing more to say about the packaging. Let's drink it, right? So now let's see. This is this is sixty one point four percent alcohol, and it doesn't smell that way. It's not like a super like ethanol nose. It is uh, very sweet on the nose. Vanilla. Musty corn that like uh, those two bourbons are really coming through there with like a little bit of herbalness that like caraway grassiness. You can smell that like dry breadiness that's uh, that comes along with the rise.
and all those sweet vanilla characteristics that come along with the, the bourbon. There's this shimmery, golden type of, oh, like a honey, like vanilla and a honey mixed together real nice. It's like buttery caramel. With that herbal rye, I feel like my mouth is like watering. And I feel like it's so, like, surprisingly soft for 61%. Like, I feel like this should be, like, killing me. And, like, it just feels warm and buttery and, like, uh, like, like, this, like fresh, hot caramel. If you've ever gone somewhere where they make it fresh in the mornings and, and you've had, like, that warm caramel, it's... It's so soft. There's a, I'm finding a little bit of the wood now. Um, yeah, it got very tannic at the end of the second sip, but still very forward uh, with that rich, rich butteriness. It's like, it just like coats your palate and it's not, it's not super sweet. It's, it's that buttery, like butterscotch caramel, just coating your tongue. It's, it's, it's really good. Uh, and I'd say if you can get it around MSRP or below, it might be worth it. Especially if you're looking for something fancy that's not way up there, uh, that's going to look cool to impress some guests. Uh, at the end of the day, a whiskey's only worth what you're willing to pay for it. Uh, I would buy this around, I, I might pick a bottle of this up because it, it, it's really rich. Uh, and I'm willing to spend, uh, you know, the 100, 125 bucks on a uh, whiskey, but not everybody feels that way. So if you don't want a buttery whiskey that ends in dry herbal notes, um, has those tannins in the back, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe anybody who would spend a hundred dollars on a whiskey is stupid when you can get a perfectly fine whiskey for 30 bucks. I don't know. I'm one of those people. But no matter what type of person you are, whether you'd like to buy this whiskey or not, I hope you like this video and you subscribe to the channel. Because doing that makes me feel like What's up, interwebs? I'm Connor, and this is Sort of Sound, the show about drinking alcohol and exploring it inside and out. And today, we're talking about Little Booker. Fuck you, computer. <laughs>